A man dying of kidney failure in East Tennessee gets a lifeline from an unexpected source. Our Sam Luther shows us how one coworker he basically just met went above and beyond to help save this man's life. You know, I look healthy, but I'm, I'm not. I feel horrible. For years, William Holt has had failing kidneys. For the last two years, he's been on dialysis. It kind of gives me a little bit of sleep where I can recover a little bit, but in the morning is really, really tough. Still, he shows up to work at Bush's Baked Beans, just like he's done every day for the last 19 years. At that job, he met Nick Jackson, who heard about Holt's story and privately went to see if he was a match for a kidney donation. Because it's just the right thing to do. The two had only worked together for about a year. They weren't friends. In fact, they don't even work the same shift, but Jackson wanted to help and prayed about it. That's when I, know, I knew I really wanted to donate. And then everything just matched up, all the tests, everything just came out perfect. Jackson and Holt both have O positive blood, and after several failed donor attempts before, Holt finally found a match, a man who without this donation from nearly a total stranger, says he likely couldn't survive more than a handful of years. He's saving my life. I mean, ah, he's saving my life. I owe him my life. And him to willing to do that is uh, very humble for, for me. I mean, I just, I can, can never thank him enough for what he's doing. In Jefferson County, Sam Luther, WVLT News. Well, the surgery is taking place May 1st in Nashville. We, of course, will keep you updated on how everything goes.